sides up. Everybody getting sized up. Before we all rise up, start running your times up. Cause when my crew ride up, the sky gon' light up. Everybody get up. Hey, Hi. Hey, what are you working on? Working on Need for Speed Most Wanted, cinematics and the look of the game okay. on Xbox 360. So, as an art director, what do you do for Need for Speed Most Wanted? What does that? What does it mean to be an art director here? Um, it means I'm primarily in charge of the look of the game, the look and feel of everything, cinematics and when, what you experience in the game. That has to reflect the core of what the game is about, as well as be unique and recognizable. And I felt that what, t what really makes sense here is a more serious look, uh, reduced color palette, so we have uh, a more, more intense treatment. We do a bleach bypass look that's filtered in real time in the game, giving it this, this gritty look. I have here, for example, a frame of uh, our lead character, Josie Moran. And you can see the background that uh, comes from the actually processed through the 360. A very interesting look that uh, forces people to really kind of come in closer and, to, and makes the characters look appealing. It's been a year of researching uh, HDTV. It, it sounds like a trivial thing where you say, hey, it's just higher resolution. But what it does is it affects every single aspect of the game. It, it affects the details we need to make the models at, the car models, the, the world, the detail we need to have in the world as far as number of objects and the texture resolution. For example, here you can see the shadow of this tree and it's actually moving in real time as the tree moves. I can move the sun or I can have it set in front of us. Everything's dynamically reacting. We don't know where the bar is. We don't know, no one's gone there before. To be able to integrate these visuals into the game and have them tie in with the cinematics, we're able to really see where that limit is and how, how far we can push things. It is a little dangerous territory where our challenge was to really uh, come up with a new look. What can you tell me about the new visual process and how we implemented it in the game? The goal of the process was basically to film real actors and process them to look uh, synthetic or CG and place them into the game. Everybody that way. Live action shoot part of it was very, almost identical to any uh, any film that's being created these days using the green screen. A film such as uh, Sky Captain or Sin City is very similar. We used entirely a uh, green screen stage. If we uh, walk over there, I can show you some moving footage. Oh yeah. Mateo? Oh, hi, Abby. This is Raquel. Hi. Oh, hi, Raquel. Nice to meet you. This is Mateo Gardi, uh, producer for all the cinematics. Cool. And he's been heading up the whole search for HD, high definition capture and editing. That's been a big unknown. Uh, it certainly has been a challenge, but uh, we actually got through it. And in fact, um, you know, I've got a few shots actually right up here. I'm just checking out. Head over to the screen and I'll press play. Yeah, this is one of our most complex shots. We have the game footage here transitioning into a shot we shot on stage with a technocrane, which is a camera on top of a remote head. And you can see the complexity of the move, and we're able to match the same camera that we shot on stage live into the game camera. And you can see the processing, the actors, and how they're integrated into the scene. Really be able to capture that CG look. So we started this way and worked our way back to be able to take out some of the things that give us clues that something is real. Mm -hmm but be able to still have it be a high quality performance that comes from the actors. Everyone, 